Mojang is about to ruin crafters and copper bulbs. So earlier today, a new snapshot dropped, 23W46A. And I thought this snapshot was going to be adding the rest of the stuff that was missing from the trials chambers last snapshot. But instead of that, I got a nasty surprise. Crafters and copper bulbs have been nerfed for seemingly no valid reason at all. So this is how they behave in the old snapshot, 23W45A. I can pulse the crafter 20 times per second and it will craft things 20 times a second. So if you pre-fill it with stacks of items, then you can empty it really, really fast. And copper bulbs had a one game tick delay, so we now had very precise control over piston timings we could do a very smooth piston wave like this, which wasn't so simple to do before. And I also used it to make this really fast and small piston extender. You could make things really compact with this thing while also having very precise timing control. But now we're in 23W46A, and now the crafter has a four game tick input delay slash cooldown. This is the exact same super crafting setup I had before, and it only runs at a fraction of the speed. It doesn't empty nearly as fast because the crafter is now hard capped to only craft once every four game ticks. And I just don't see why. And that one game tick delay that the copper bulb had, one of the things that made it really special, that's now gone. It's instant. So we don't have convenient access to odd game tick delays anymore. As you can see here, it no longer does that smooth wave. And needless to say, this piston extender is now very, very broken. So how did this happen? Well, crafters were nerfed after this false bug report was made on the Mojang bug tracker. It said that crafters shouldn't be able to craft every game tick because it's not consistent with dispensers and droppers, which can only activate once every four game ticks. But this is like comparing apples to oranges. Crafters never had any consistency with droppers and dispensers to begin with. Dispensers and droppers can be QC powered, while crafters can't, and they fill up with items in completely different orders, droppers and dispensers will fill up a whole stack before moving to the next slot, while a crafter puts in one item then moves on to the next slot. It cycles through all the slots. So this bug report is based on nothing. There was no need for consistency to begin with, and for some silly reason, it was accepted. They accepted a false bug report. So this means no more on-demand super speed auto crafting. It also means no more simple game tick accurate stopwatches, no more super fast redstone latches, no more crafty crafty counter, and basically just no more interesting uses for the crafter outside of crafting. And in the patch notes, Mojang said that the copper bulb was also changed for consistency. So it now has the same input delay as a note block. It's instant. But this is just counterintuitive. The reason people loved this block so much was that it wasn't consistent with existing blocks. It did things differently and in a good way. It makes absolutely zero sense to nerf this. So this means no more smaller zero tick builds, no more simplified giant flying machines, and no more completely precise redstone timings. We have to go back to using two separate input lines and then offsetting them by one game tick. Or go back to using scaffolding and leaf Stone, which are very bulky and not movable. Now, am I overreacting? Maybe, maybe not. It's just that Mojang is very unlikely to change these blocks after 1.21 comes out. So if we're going to criticize any changes, now is the time to do it. I was really hyped for this update, and I don't want the good things it had to offer to be ruined. Ultimately, I just want what I think is best for the game, and I'm not the only one who's unhappy with these changes. So a Mojang dev openly invited Redstoners to make videos constructively criticizing these changes. And here we are. What I really don't understand understand though is that Mojang obviously saw the overwhelmingly positive reaction people had when they first added these blocks. The sentiment was that the crafter was groundbreaking and the copper bulb just made this update even better. So after seeing so many people raving about how good these things are and all these videos praising them, why change things? Mojang, you got these blocks perfect first time and now you're starting to undo all that good work. Crafters now have a pointless limitation placed on them and one of the main things that that made copper bulb special has been taken away from them. We really shouldn't be trying to fix things that aren't broken. So Mojang, please revert these changes completely. There was nothing wrong with how these blocks worked. If these changes do go through, all it's going to do is kill most, if not all of the hype the redstone community had for this update. You had something good here. Please don't ruin it.